Hello and welcome to Alexpo. Expo. Before we go anywhere today, I'd bloody love it if you could whack the subscribe button and the bell as well, because we're nearly at 30,000 subscribers and that'll be a pretty fun milestone. Right, now you've done that, thank you, it's time to talk about David Moyes. For a long time, Moyes' reputation was on the floor. His move to Man United failed completely. He was the chosen one to replace Sir Alex Ferguson, but the Scot didn't even last a full season in the job. Then he went to Spain randomly, before returning to England where he took Sunderland from survival experts to a championship side. But now with West Ham he looks back to his best, despite being tipped to go down by… well I did, the Hammers are actually challenging for a place in the top 4 in what has been the best season for West Ham in years. All of this with David Moyes calling the shots. His reputation has been restored, but what if he got another chance at Man United? Well using Football Manager 2021, I'm going to make it happen. Moisey is back at Old Trafford and he's got a 5 year deal on 50 grand a week. And just so there's some familiarity for him, I've sent Maran Fellaini back as well. Will Moyes be able to fulfil his destiny and succeed at Old Trafford, or will he completely flop with the Red Devils for the second time in his career? Let's find out. Ok so here we are at the start of the simulation, as you can see David Moyes back at Manchester United. Me you think they're going to come third, they've got Maran Fellaini so big balls up to the big man. Just so you can see, West Ham, I've given them Ole Gunnar Solskjaer just, just for ease really. But we are focused on what David Moyes does at Manchester United. Can he survive longer than he did the first time? It didn't go well. This time he's, he's got a bit more about him, he's back to his best, he's got his confidence back, he's got his mojo, he's got that frowny face that he always pulls. Can he succeed? Let's find out. Ok, so here we are at the end of the first season of the simulation and Manchester United have came third. Third, just behind Man City and Liverpool, he's still the manager so he survived longer than he did the first time. I say just behind, he's, he's quite way behind, 14 points off the title holders Man City but what I will say is this, this is quite a good season for David Moyes because when he took Man United over back in the day, they were the champions and they just fell apart under his watch. This time Man City and Liverpool are pretty much unstoppable on FM, I mean Liverpool are about as brittle as a wet paper bag at the minute. but. On Football Manager, those two are the best teams. Man United are the chasers, they're the ones trying to get into the title battle. They haven't done it this time, but they have finished in the top four comfortably. Nine points between themselves and fifth place, so they've, they've done well. Who has been the best player under David Moyes? He's been playing a 4-2-3-1. They've signed Odson Edouard, which is, which is good. Bruno Fernandes, the star, followed by Donny van der Beek. And Marcus Rashford, Pogba's doing well. Maguire's played well, I mean this is all good stuff from, from David Moyes. Donny van der Beek can't get in the team under Solskjaer, Pogba's hot and cold. But under Moisey, it's going bloody brilliantly. He's even sent Mason Greenwood out on loan, that is an absolute baller move. On loan to Real Madrid, I mean if Real Madrid want to take your player on loan, you should maybe just think about keeping him. But whatever Moisey, you know best. Has there been any success in any of the competitions? Has he got a trophy? He obviously didn't get a trophy last time. Quarterfinals of the Cup, they were knocked out, FA Cup quarters as well, Champions League knocked out early as well, but a fine end, actually it hasn't been, they've had some rough patches, but a six game run of six wins on the bounce at the end of the season is what has got them into the Champions League yet again, and it is why David Moyes will get a second season at Manchester United, he didn't get it the first time, this season he's got it, transfers as he kept a hold of Marouane Fellaini, I hope he has. He has, Maron Fellaini hasn't gone. Let's see if Maron Fellaini's played. Where is he? Where's the man? There he is, he's on the transfer list. That's that's not good. Asking price for £3.8 million. But he still played 13 times. He still started four Premier League goals and he got one trademark goal, which let's just assume for, for all time's sake, there was a long ball at the box. He elbowed the defender, he elbowed another one and crashed home a header past a desperate goalkeeper. Let's just imagine that's what happened. It might not have been, but... We will never know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna find out. I'm not gonna try and spoil it for myself. But that is the end of the first season for David Moyes. He survived season one. He didn't even see out season one last time, so things are already improving. What will season two bring for the Super Scott? Okay, so here we are, season two, and David Moyes is a picture of consistency yet again. His Red Devils have came third. Last time they got 78 points. This time one shy on 77, but. They were closer to the champions than they were last time. This time they were only 10 points adrift, yet again finished comfortably in the top four. So it's got to go down as another good season from Davy Moyes. Marcus Rashford has won the golden boot. 
And I was going to say, and a win for Alex Tellez, but he's got more yellow cards than anyone's got in the league. So that's not really anything to shout about. We'll ignore that. Let's check Man United out and big Davy Moyes. Still got a contract there until 2025. He's satisfied with life at the moment. Things are going well for David Moyes. Has there been a trophy? How did they get on in the other competitions? As I say, third in the Premier League for the second season in a row. Third season, actually, because they did it last year with Solskjaer. But, but, but two seasons in a row for Moisey, that's what matters. Uh, the League Cup, they got to the final where they were beaten by Brighton in extra time. That is, that's bad. That's not good at all. To have got all the way to the final and lose to Brighton. FA Cup, semi-final, beaten on penalties by Man City. In the Champions League, they were beaten... Oh, Davey, what have you done? They made it to the semi-final of the Champions League where they lost 1-0 on aggregate to Benfica. I mean, no disrespect to Benfica. They're a great side, one of Portugal's best teams. But if you've got all the way to the semi-finals, Man United, and you've got Benfica, you must think your looks, your looks come in. You go into a final, and you've absolutely balsed it up. Oh, David, man. This will not go down well with the likes of Mark Goldbridge and Andy Tate. They will be hoping Giggsy comes in for the rest of the season. Have a look at the team. It's still a 4 3 one The best player. Marcus Rashford this time. Ousting Bruno Fernandes. Pogba's done well. Florin Tovan, a World Cup winner, also a Newcastle flop, came in on a free. Number seven shirt. That's quite a big deal, actually, at Man United. The likes of Ronaldo, Warwick, various others. Not too many signings. Four players arrived. Young players who can go on to become... Stars, sensible bit of business. Marlon Fellaini's gone. That's quite sad. You know what it is? I did a nice thing for David Moyes and give him Marlon Fellaini to make him feel good. And all he's done is put him on the transfer list and loaned him out. You arsehole, David. You absolute arsehole. So we will go into year three. Two seasons in a row, they have came third in the Premier League. But this season, they lost the League Cup final at the Brighton, which was a massive blow, and they nearly made it to the Champions League final. So it's been a mixed bag. Let's go into year three. Surely year three will bring silverware for David Moyes. Let's find out. Okay, so here we are, season three, and my United have came third again. David Moyes doesn't know anything other than third place. But they've got more points than ever before under Moisey. The thing is, Man City nearly got 100 points. Man City and Liverpool are just incredible. So technically, if you ignore them, my United have won three titles in a row. So that's, that's something to shout about. Let's check Man United out. David Moyes, still the gaffer, still on that five-year deal. They haven't extended it, so that's a somewhat cause for concern. I haven't been that impressed with him. Then again, I wouldn't be in a rush to up his wages. He's only on 50 grand a week. Clearly, no one's been interested in Moyes. Has he brought anyone in this season? Camavinga, what a signing. And Kingsley Coleman. And he sold Martial. Something that a lot of Man United fans want to see happen. Shoulder short tyre, he's just emerged on the scene. He's gone to Watford on loan. Don't know why I'm looking at Shola Shola tyre, but he's, but he's having a good time. Well done, Shola, as he celebrates his 10th birthday. He's just a child. 2004 he was born and he's playing in the Premier League. All I can remember from 2004 is watching Wayne Rooney at the Euros. God, that was a long time ago. Anyway, have Man United won anything? They've had another good season coming third. De Gea's had a testimonial. They, won, they didn't even win the De Gea testimonial, man. Idiots. The, wow, what a start of the season Man United had. They didn't lose a game until they played Man City... On the 29th of October, be it league or be it cup, they were unbeaten. What a start of the season that was for Moisey's men. League Cup, they got to... Looks like they got the final, beating on penalties by Man City. Champions League, knocked out in the first round by Inter Milan. FA Cup, they were knocked out in the fourth round by Cardiff on penalties. So it's another nearly season for David Moyes. His best player, Kamavinga. Kamavinga and Marcus Rashford. So, I mean, it's quite a team David Moyes is assembling. Ahmed Diallo's been playing. Good to see. Want to watch in the coming years. I mean, maybe in the coming weeks he's already getting in the team. He's that good. But Manchester United, they're turning it nearly men. Two cup finals, two successive League Cup finals, and they've been beaten. They've taken it past 90 minutes. They were beaten by Brighton in 2022. This year, beaten by Manchester City. But you can't really complain about Davy Moyes. He's getting them in the Champions League consistently. And they are competing for trophies. And they're improving. 
So let's go into year four. Will this be the season where David Moyes doesn't finish third? Let's find out. Okay, so here we are, the 4th of June 2024, and as you can see, the Man United job is available. David Moyes is a goner. I'm going to assume he's got the sack and he hasn't been poached. David Moyes sacked on the 20th of May 2024. Just shy of four years in charge, and he didn't win a single trophy. The Red Devils have finished outside of the top four for the first time of the David Moyes era. And they weren't far off. There were three points behind Chelsea, meant they missed out on the top four. If they'd gotten the top four, would he have kept his job? Who knows, probably, but we'll never find out because they didn't, they came fifth. Elsewhere in the Cups, Champions League, they were knocked out early. FA Cup, knocked out in the semis by Man City. League Cup, beaten in the semis by Liverpool. So disappointing. That is where the journey ends for David Moyes. I'm quite sad. I thought they would have. I thought David Moyes' character arc was just on an upwards trajectory. I thought it was going to end with a Premier League title, perhaps. But instead, it's just gone the same as last time. He's been sacked. I mean, he lasted longer. He's done a lot, lot better. He's probably got a lot more respect. I'm going to assume he's got no kind of status at Manchester United. We'll have a, a brief look. But we'll, I'd be surprised. No, unsurprisingly, uh, David Moyes has not been recognised for his achievements. Let's have a quick check on West Ham, see if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is still in the job. He's still there. He still lasted four years at the Hammers. But David Moyes has been given the boot. So, in four seasons, he had three consecutive third-place finishes. They were getting closer to the title. But in year four, it has ended in disappointment. They'll be playing Europa League football without David Moyes. It could have been so, so different. He got to a Champions League semi-final and he got to two League Cup finals. But in the end, David Moyes' second spell at Man United will read zero league titles, zero cups. And one Maran Fellaini goal. That is the joyous moment we will leave this on. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around.